Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Gary Benton and today here on this exciting Yu-Gi-Oh! video we are going to be showing you the Burning Abyss deck that I profiled yesterday so if you guys didn't see that make sure to check out this card that will appear on the screen saying the check out the deck profile and then come back to this video where we I'll show you how I intend to play it so starting off we're playing against I guess some Predaplant person and go ahead and he's gonna do his play so this is thing and makes the wee witch does fright first stuff poly and makes his big board and from there he gets himself another fright for patchwork and then that's that's his turn so pretty pretty underwhelming board with this predator plant guy and the uh, we witch apprentice and so we go and we draw we get ourselves a nice second light and play second light obviously there we go drawing two orbital hydrolanders which is awesome and then we're gonna go and we're gonna do rescue cat obviously we're gonna go ahead get ourselves two beasts we get ourselves a gallus and a jackalope we go do our second light, make ourselves a nice little Dante, and then we use Dante's effect to go and mill Phoenix Rhino Warrior. We have Calcab and a second light, which is okay. Because we're gonna OTK our opponent this turn. Phoenix Rhino, we're gonna send ourselves a seer. I just picked one, and we're gonna special summon out the Calcab. From our graveyard and special the farfa from there we're going to activate dangerous sukunoko to go and special summon himself and then we're going to special out both of our orbital hydrolanders and we're going to mill our cards still have no doubles for the credit plant going to mill out our cards still have no doubles hit the apprentice illusion magician the apprentice illusion magician is going to add back a predator and then we go and we banish a light and a dark from our graveyard for the bls and battle phase that is the game we go ahead we, we hit into it it's fun and we hit our opponent for a nice little seven thousand points of damage and that is how we play the deck and now we have another one, another replay that I did to show off another kind of OTK potential that this deck has. I'm going to let our opponent play off their turn because their turn doesn't really matter what it is. We play some ninja monsters and that's his board. Like, come on, guy. Come on. Can you? What are you going to do with that? So we go and we draw a fiendish rhino warrior which is why we want to play three of in our deck normal that and then we're going to special off our three burning abyss monsters that are in our hand and then we're going to play our dog man Hope, hoping we don't hit the dog man we don't hit the dog man we hit the fairy tale snow which is awesome and we draw a card from there Going into our nice little Boral Sword Dragon. Phoenix Rhino Warrior will let us mill a card, which is fun. And then Boral Sword, he ends up stopping my battle phase, which is fine. And then he goes into his turn. Which is fine, because, I mean, it's not like he's going to do anything important in his turn anyways. I have a Boral Sword on the field. He just sets one pass, which is fine. And after this, we just go. We draw ourselves a BLS, and we go. We banish the light in the dark. He flips some card. BLS banishes his monster, and then Boral Sword will switch BLS to defense mode. We go in to do another eight thousand points of damage. There we go, and that's game. So that that's how I intended to play this Burning Abyss deck. Obviously, against the people at my locals, it did not go this smoothly. I did not draw these kinds of broken hands that I drew right here. 
And now we're going to try and do ourselves a live duel. See what we got with this. See, see what we can do with the deck. See, you're not going to always win them, but let's see what we can do with just a test hand thing um, against a random opponent. Depending on how long it takes, it did not take them very long at all. So let's go ahead. We'll do our nice little rock, waiting for our opponent to do something. And watch, it's going to give us a hand that, like the hands I got at locals where you can't do absolutely anything with it. It's really bad. But there we go. It looks like we are going second, which is pretty good because we have the two fairy tale snows. We have the Phoenix Rhino Warrior. And we have our two danger monsters, which is awesome. So let's see what kind of deck our opponent is playing. Come on, just set, just set three pass. Set three pass. Wow, set four pass. All right, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and normal summon ourselves a Phoenix Rhino Warrior. And let's see, what does our opponent have have any sneaky plays for that? Oh, man. How long are you going to keep me wait, dude? Do you not know what your face downs are? Come on. You going to activate something? Nothing? Nothing at all. Wow, just keeping me waiting. Tisk tisk tisk. All right. Well, I think after this we're gonna activate our jackalope because it doesn't really matter what we hit in our hand; it's gonna be good. Um, we could actually go into a tomahawk play if we hit the right cards, um, but I kind of want to hit. I want to hit a fairy tale snow with jackalope and then draw into like hydrolander or something, but I can't if our opponent does not do anything with his turn guy guy you there hello are you going to make a play I, guys I don't think he's gonna make a play I don't Okay, well, we're not doing that one. Nope. No, I don't want to request the rematch. He took, like, forever to actually do something. All right, whatever. We're going to go into another game. Uh, our last game did not give us what we were wanting from this live duel. But let's see what we got. Come on. There we go. Another player. That's... That's all we wanted. All right. We got ourselves going our nice rock of paper, scissors. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. He got me. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. Not too bad of a hand. We have a pretty decent hand. We can do a lot with this hand. We can definitely go into a possible Boral Sword OTK play. Giving me a thousand life points. All right. Mythical Beast deck. Okay. I don't know what any of these cards do, so I'm just going to hope he doesn't put on any negates on board. Which, if he does, that's kind of fine, actually, because then I could just summon my two burning this guys. But let's see, let's see what you got here. All right, you got a Mythical Beast Jack... Beast King Jackal. Interesting. Uh, interesting. Okay. You you getting you getting spell counters there? I see. All right. Interesting hand. Do we have a negate? If you each time a spell card is activated, place two card spell cards. Spell counters on this card and cannot be destroyed by card effects while four or more spell counters are on your field. Once per turn you can remove all four spell counters from your field. Target one wants for your opponent control to banish it. That's fine. Um, place two spell counters on this card. 
Well, it's per turn when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can remove two spell counters, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy the card. Well, let's go ahead and do our nice little rescue cat play. Because we can, we can get this done. What does that do? Wow. All right, that's kind of rude. Um, well, let's let's go ahead and do our jackalope then. Oh man, you hit the BLS. Special summon the jackalope. All right, we got ourselves a nice little sec of light. And let's go ahead and see if they can hit. They did not, so we're gonna hit the other jackalope. There we go. And we could definitely go into a Boral Sword play here, I'm pretty sure. But let's see, what do we got in our graveyard? I think I want to send... I'm going to send a Farfa. And... Yes, I want to activate Farfa's effect. I'm going to banish that guy. And see what he's going to do. Okay. Negating the effect, that's what I wanted. All right. So now we're going to go into a Dante. And we could, we could be in attack mode, that's fine. We're going to activate Dante's effect, detaching a Jackalope. And we're going to mill three cards. And he's now got 2,500 attack, which is good. So now we're going to activate and we're going to special off our Burning Abyss guys. There we go. And now we're going to go into a nice little play here. Um, what I want to do is... I don't... No, nah, we're fine. We're going to go straight into Boral Sword. There we go. And we're going to activate Dante's effect to add ourselves... A Farfa back to our hand. And no, we are not going to chain a card effect. Now we're gonna get we're gonna go into our battle phase and activate switching that to defense mode, which is fine. And then we're gonna battle. Activate Boral Sword's effect to have its attack. And gonna punch it and we're waiting okay and we're going to punch it again there we go all right so pretty pretty decent move position where we are at right now now we're gonna go to our end phase and go to the next turn all right let's see what we got for this Come on, we got this. We got this. If our opponent would hurry up and make some plays. And no, we're not going to activate our Boral Sword effect just yet. Because he does have that negate. Yes. We don't want to destroy it. Actually, he can't. Um. He can't do anything in response to that effect, which is good. That's what we want. And that Mystical Beast Cerberus is in 3,800 attack points. So that's definitely a monster we're going to be switching to defense mode. But we want to make sure that he's actually going to do that play first. Nope, we're not going to... Not going to do anything on normal summon just yet. And, oh man, he's getting he's getting ready to attack. I, I could sense it. Alright. What, what is your effect? Um, we're going to activate. Switch you to defense mode. That's fine. 
And then let's see what we're going to do from here. Ow. All right. We're, we're in a good position. We are in a very good position. And let's see what... Let's see, you can detach one target when facing monster to the field. Change it to face down defense position. Then target one other card in the field, shuffle into the deck. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. And... What do we have here? Yes, we do have the second light. Which we are going to shuffle back in the ghost bell. And draw a card. And that is not the card that we wanted. Because we have way more than three dark monsters in our graveyard. But let's go ahead and let's normal summon our rescue cat. Activate its effect. Wait for it to get negated. And... Yep, th this this game has quickly turned into the worst case scenario. We need we need an orbital hydrolander. That's what we need. And without the orbital hydrolander, we're kind of we're kind of in a rough spot right now. But you guys see how this deck works and how explosive this deck could be. This guy just happened to have the out for our deck, to, outing the Boral Sword. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys, for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.